Uh, today we'll talk about gossip protocol for failure detection in distributed systems. So, um, so, yeah. <coughs> so uh, gossip protocols are a class of decentralized protocols used in distributed systems for various purposes, including failure detection. They are based on the idea of nodes or participants in a network uh, periodically exchanging information periodically exchanging information with a new random neighbors or peers. And this information exchange helps uh, the, the, uh, disseminate data, detect failures, and maintain system consistency. Um, so how it looks like? So first let's talk about the problem. Let's say that we have such a distributed system and in, in the distributed system we have like a, a ring and we have like four other servers and I want to know and this service went down. How could we know this service went down? so in in the way that we do it's not reasonable to assume this server is down if one server only tried to connect with it and couldn't do it it's more reasonable to make sure that more than one server trying to connect with the same node and the node is not responding at all so in order to do this one we use the gossip protocol so we have four servers as you can see here or four nodes and each node is connected with the all three nodes so when one node is down and S0, for example, it recognized that S3 is down, it will try to send requests to S1 and S2 and including the information about S3 and S1 and S2 will try to connect to S3 and if both of them also has confirmed that S3 is down, we know that S3 is down. We know the failure, now we detect the failure. So how it works, how the failure detection works, let's just try to put in some words. So number one, we have a random peer selection because in selection because in the real world we don't have only five nodes we have maybe thousands we have tons of nodes so one node will just try to randomly choose other nodes if the if this node find s3 if s3 try to uh, if s0 find s3 uh, uh, failed or like it's not responding it will try to uh, uh, select random nodes to connect with necessary to know so first we have random nodes so each node in distributed system uh, periodically period periodically selects a random subset of peers to exchange information with the subset can vary in size but it's typically small to limit network overhead the second thing like when they connect with each other what is happening like why what's happening when they connect with each other the exchange um the health of heart the exchange of heartbeat or health information so when s0 try to connect uh, to connect with s1 it will exchange the heartbeat or health information so nodes uh, share information about their health availability or status with their selected peers so s0 will try to send uh, for example s0 his health is great, everything went fine. However, the uh, S0 was selected with S3 and S0 find S3 out. It's not responding. So S, when S0 try to connect with S1 and S2, it will try to select uh, the peers that the, it was selected with and it will try to select the health. And this information is often, um, is often in the form of heartbeat message, which indicate that uh, a node is still alive and operational. And number three, we have the propagation. So when a node receives information from its peers, it updates its own view of the system's state based on received information. For example, if a node hasn't received 
a hearty message from peer for some time it may consider that peer as a potential failed so when s0 doesn't receive anything from s3 it will it will assume it's a potential fail and it will try to send the, uh, the information to s1 and s2 and number four we have the impeding spreading Im Im imped impediment spreading so over time this process this process of information exchange process uh, throughout the network like uh, impedic um, nodes uh, continually uh, share their status and update their knowledge based on what they hear from others and number five which is the last step it will be the failure detection so oh no so by monitoring uh, the absence of heartbeat or health messages from of uh, from a peer nodes can detect um, if a peer has failed or become an un, un, uh, um, um, un, unreachable when uh, a consensus emerges among nodes that particular peer has failed that peer is marked uh, as such a, fa a failed peer um, so we could we could we um so right now we we know we we know so how 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 does it work so let's say that um it doesn't um let me yeah thank you so we have this peer right now we have we have we have this table let me just put the table here so it will know so each one in here in the node so like number uh, uh, node uh, several node zero or several zero has a heartbeat count and it has a time and all of them have the same thing however uh, let's say node number three so let's assume the one was deleted was node number three number number two which with this one this one doesn't have doesn't update it at all it's heartbeat and it it was very really long time since it was uh, updated so what will happen that node which is zero maintains a, a node membership list shown as you can see here on the uh, on the left side and node zero uh, noticed that is uh, uh, server two uh, member that was member id two uh, heartbeat uh, the, the the heartbeat count of of this one has not increased for a very long time so um, node zero sends heartbeats that includes s2 um uh, s2 info to a set of random nodes once other nodes confirm that s2 heartbeat counter has not been updated for a long time uh, node uh, s2 is marked down and this information is uh, propagated to all the other nodes so this is how the way it it works so uh, the gossip project uh, gossip project protocol is, is is commonly used in distributed systems for various purposes beyond uh, a failure detection and um, uh, but but it's out outside of um, of the scope but you just know it's not only for failure detection um but this video it was only dedicated to how to know failure detection but it's great in distributed database so gossip protocols can help nodes in uh, database cluster discover one another share schema information and maintain consistency also it's great in distributed file system so they can use uh, for location and uh, availability tracking of files and storage nodes it's great in to peer to peer networks so gossip helps peer discovers uh, peers discovers and maintain knowledge of other peers in the network it's great also in distributed resources management so gossip can uh, be used to track resources availability and load information in cloud computing environments and yeah so um so in conclusion uh, a key one key advantage of gossip protocol is their decentralized and uh, adaptability to changing network conditions however their uh, their eventual consistency model may not be suitable for all application and they, and they may not provide strong guarantees in terms of timing and or accuracy for failure detection therefore the choice of using gossip protocols should consider the specific requirements and trade-offs and in, in 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 a high availability system a gossip protocol it's really handy and helps in detection and detecting uh, um, detecting failure really quickly so that's it for this video i hope you like my content if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and see you in future problems